and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Bant Ramp. This is one of the best decks in the previous format, and we have a donation to try it out with Leyline of Abundance as being our new addition here that allows all of our mana creatures to tap for an additional mana. So as we know with Standard, spending the most mana um, is like how you win games of Standard. So that's what this deck's designed to do. We got our 12 mana creatures that we're trying to get them out and add even more mana with the help of Leyline Abundance here. And then cast, uh, you know, Nissa that helps cast some really big Krasis, Manipulation, Finale. You know, we can do some really big things here. So that's that's what our deck's all about. Um, sideboard, we got we got some different things also. Uh, we got some new toys over here in the sideboard. I'm not exactly sure what we'll use all of them for. Like, we'll see what we're gonna do with this Vivian, for example. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Um, you know, Gideon's against Esper, Vale, you know, against other manipulation decks. Cavalier Thorns is a really good ramp card against uh, decks that are interacting a bunch. We can kind of bring it in and, and help ramp there and also just be a really nice body. I really like Cavalier Thorns a whole bunch. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started here. There's, we're on July 4th now, uh, and there's a storm here in the area. So it's thundering and lighting and stuff, and who knows if the, the power will go out while we're recording this. So we're going to just kind of try to play fast here and um, try to get through the league. Let's hope this Leyline Abundance... I mean, it'll be interesting to see with this Leyline Abundance. I've been, I've been outspokenly negative on the card like during the set review and everything thinking that it may not be uh really that worth it or that necessary um not a card that you want to draw you know if it's not in your opener but to be fair with us having london mulligan does mean that like you will be able to start with our good hands more often you know with the ley line in our opener also more often <laughs> Uh, well, this this hand does have Leyline in it, but no mana creatures. No mana creatures means mulligan. All right, so this hand, we would get rid of the manipulation. So let's just go to five. All right, we'll get rid of a Paradise Druid and a Krasis. Hey, thanks, Sonar. Thank you so much. All right, Temple Scry. Nah. Fourteenth sub of the day. Reboot. I should have kept that other Krasis. Got rid of the Tamiya. The study is over. So they shocked on turn one and then didn't play anything. That's got to be that they have like a, a shock in hand, right? Like they got to have a one mana spell in hand if they were doing that. Or they just misclicked. Could just misclick. It's certainly possible. Yeah, disfigure is another option there. It was fungal infection. I did not have fungal infection in the office pool. Of what was their one mana card? No, I haven't found a place for Lotus Field, J-Rock. No, I haven't yet. But to be honest, I haven't really been trying to find a place for the card yet. But no, I haven't. This seems like it'd be a, a pretty okay 
Lotus Field deck, considering you know you get to untap it with Nissa and make even more mana. I don't think I've reset Arena in a while since like the last few leagues, and actually it does look like I probably should have done that before. Hey, Sonar Loser. <laughs> yeah, Sonar Losers gifting out some subs. Everybody get some hype in the channel. Five gifted subs. Thank you so much, Sonar. That puts us to 19, almost to our next sub goal. So if you're watching the stream, want to join in on that hype, hit that sub button. One more person will hit our next sub goal towards our... What the sub goals do is, um, whenever we hit 20 total sub goals throughout streams, I'm going to be doing a 12 hour stream to celebrate. And Jarek gets us there. Thanks, Jarek. So that's our sixth sub goal, six out of 20 now, towards our next 12 hour stream. Yeah, thanks so much, Sonar. I appreciate that. All right, and I'll mark that down. On the stream page. And if y'all remind me, uh, we will crack a pack open. We'll go buy a pack of M20 and crack it open also for hitting that sub goal. All right, Wampus. All right, mold a five, and then double discard. Definitely means we're playing off the top, and top of our library didn't help us. So we got a lot of smaller flyers and fungal infections. Love those fungal infections over there. So Vela Summer, obviously. Um, Lyra doesn't seem so bad here. Leyline Abundance is going to be an awful top deck against a, a removal or like, you know, just an interaction heavy deck. So I think we want to kind of change our deck up to be better, you know, have better top decks here. And, you know, be, you know, after sideboarding, our opponent has more. Get rid of They're gonna have more interaction. And so we're gonna just kinda make our deck better against that. Still have the crazy top end with mass manipulation, but I really like Lyra and the Cavalier Thorns. Honestly, maybe this is where I should be playing the Vivian in the sideboard, too. Hey, Mixaways. Happy 4th. With the Vivian being able to minus and help us kill... Kite sail freebooters. Yeah, I know. I didn't I didn't have time to put together a Jeskai deck for today. I know a lot of people have said that.
We had the 12-hour stream yesterday that, you know, lasted till after midnight. War boss. Yeah, I'm really glad we have Cavalier Thorns and Lyra Dawnbringer in our deck. Both seem to be good cards to have. I mean, it's either discard Veil of Summer or cycle Veil of Summer and then discard the next thing. It just doesn't... So it's just, we're just basically discarding the top card of our deck. Hmm. Franco. All right, come on, land drop. Draw land. Yay. All right, we can steal two things. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take these two. Now our opponent's gonna have to attack through the freebooter. Whenever they attack through the freebooter, we just get our manipulation back from the freebooter. Oh, Dreadhorde? Well, I don't have anything good over here. That's weird. It does seem like a really good Vivian matchup. Or like a, a pretty good one at least. The minus three at least does seem pretty good in this matchup. Hmm. But it's just what, like, a, do I want to take out Frilled Mystic for that? Doesn't seem like a, I want to take out. Like a Nissa. Tamio. I'll just take out the Veil of Summers. Good opener. <laughs> 
B for sanity. We will not fail. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Oh, dang it, I meant... Uh, I just kind of clicked clicked one too much. I meant to play the Incubation Druid after attackers. It's like a main. That was my plan. Whoops. I just kind of... Yeah, I was just clicking a bunch. I just kind of clicked one too many times. We definitely have some really good targets for them to hit with Thief of Sanity. So two, four, six, seven, eight. Like if I just go crisis for six, is that big enough? Do we really need a crisis for eight? Probably not. Oh, I already played a land. Rise, my elemental friend. Right. I was about to like play a land and then play Tamiyo. I already played land. Alright, we'll get the druid down now. So they're gonna have to focus on the Krasis. And then which hopefully means that the we get to manipulate next turn. Possible they took a Lyra or Cavalier of Thorns from us. Whatever they took, they liked it more than Nyssa. Which kind of makes sense. Nyssa doesn't help them out a bunch. I do need to be worried about Frilled Mystic on their side. Yeah, yuck. It's a reason to play a bigger crisis on Nexus's cruelty. All right, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nature's true power. Guess we might as well try to kill our opponent. They're at 13. There's a lot of damage coming in. They can't really block with the freebooter. So otherwise I get my manipulation back. They're in a rough spot now. All right, two, four, si two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So crisis eight.
yeah, Jay. I think three Safara may be kind of too much still. I, I feel like. I feel like it would be difficult to get Safara out there to have, you know, like the four creatures still. Like, you know, you don't have just a ton of creatures. So I think three Safara is too many. Okay. What do we got? They're at two. Two's not very much. It is an honor to meet you. Seek and find. Wow, she just said Lyra. The land shall conquer you. All right, Bant Ramp starting off with a win. All right, we're getting a, a pack. Let's go to the store, buy a pack for get into that sub goal that we got during that match. Crack a pack, what do we got? Ooh, Mythic Wild Card. Perfect. Best thing to open. Best thing to possibly open is the Mythic Wild Card. All right, I'm going to reset here. I should have done this before we started the recording, but I'm going to go ahead and reset here. All right, want to know. Yeah, for some people it's the rare wild card. For me, it's definitely the mythic. The mythics are the bottleneck. Like I don't I don't have all of the mythics for more of the spark still. You see there I have, I have 41 rare wild cards and 6 mythics now. Now we have the 6 mythic. For myself it's it's the mythics right now. Um So yeah, definitely glad to open that up. I've got all the rares except for some of the rares here in, in the new set, but had all the rares from the ones before. Hmm. Alright, well, Leyline Abundance. I mean, if this was just a mana creature, this hand would be good. Do I do I mulligan it even though it's still like turn four Tamio? Yeah, I still start with this on the battlefield. I guess we mulligan. What am I ditching? Am I ditching Frilled Mystic? Yeah, I suppose so. Blue White. Ah. Well, Gideon's looking pretty good here. Can't really... Can't really slow down Gideon right now. 
incubation druids not attack in. Of course, drawing a land would mean we'd get to manipulate for one. That'd be nice. I will lend you my strength. Yeah, I'd really like to draw land here. Hmm, dang. Witness the ties that bind us all. Behold, nature's true power. If they would have played like another another uh, planeswalker, you know, like a Teferi or whatever, um, and if I would have drawn the land, I, I would have been able to steal the Gideon. It was at six loyalty, and then minus six the Gideon and just exile it and exile the other thing. So I would have been able to like get rid of two planeswalkers with them mass manipulation, for example. There. Enough. All right, I'll see what you got here, Ripper. Um, and they are stuck on lands. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. The land fights for us. The ramp is real. No, I, I don't, Elijah. Hmm. How have you been liking the urban utopias over the over the artifact? And playing four time wipes in the main. It looks pretty good, though. It's way better than the artifact. Yeah, that fixing your mana like that's got to be pretty good. What? They just tap their mana and then not cast anything? going on here your light will cleave the darkness all right I have not played a, a big finale before definitely I do this two four I mean I, I guess I could just attack them for lethal I guess maybe that's the more polite thing to do Yeah, I guess that's the thing to do. Man. Harness the elements. Yeah, it was not be I was not doing bad manner stuff. But I guess, you're right, it's the fourth. I should have brought the fireworks. <laughs> That's a good call there. Probably should have. Probably should have displayed it. All right, so they're, they're going to be a Teferi deck, right? Let's, let's go ahead and cut the Frilled Mystics so we don't have to worry about having to cast stuff instant speed. And instead, play some Cavalier of Thorns. Get more ramp in. I mean, all right, so this is probably a good matchup for Gideon also. Hmm. This maybe not Cavalier Thorns, maybe just Gideon. All right, yeah, we'll just take out the Frilled Mystics for Gideons. Sorry. Uh, maybe I should have just played Finale. 
We would not have killed them. Who knows, maybe the next turn they have settler wreckage. But yeah, so we were gonna we would have been able to make the ten angels to go with the ten knights. Yeah, probably knights. Soldiers? No, I think they're knights. Maybe soldiers. They're like two twos. That's not really a soldier. They are soldiers? They're two two soldiers? Usually soldiers are one ones. It is. Two two soldiers. Dawn of Hope. What's going on over here? The answer is not not much. Oh, they're a Bantech now. Wait. Hmm. Cannot protect itself. Rise, my elemental friend. This looks like uh play the rares and just playing the rares and mythics in my collection deck. I can no longer stand by and watch. Let's try this. Boom. I've got time. Alright, we're gonna ramp. That's what our deck's all about. Well the plan was to have the Temple Garden be tapped and then tap these four these four lands to go with the Temple Garden and then play the other incubation druid. That was the plan. That plan didn't work. That's more like it. All right, so we'll still just play this crisis for four, draw a couple cards. Let's see what we got. Yeah, there's different ways to counter Thought Erasure on turn two. You can have Spell Pierce if you're playing blue. Um, you, if you're playing green, you can have Autumn Veil. Or you can just have... This those are basically the only two options. Justice. Other thing is, if you're playing... or you, you can also just have the White Ley Line in your deck and just start with the White Ley Line on the Prepare battlefield. The battle. But then the Thought Erasure already took a card kind of thing. But, yep, those are... Basically the options there. Ah! 
Cancel. We don't need to actually tap that. Alright, steal this knight. Bounce the other knight. I'll protect you. Attack. Yeah, duress kind of works too. Yeah, you have duress. Good call. That kind of works there too. All right, 2-0. Hawkeye move? Hawkeye did move. Yeah, if you're playing a mono green Krasis deck, then Autumn Veil vale is your card against Thought Erasure. That's your best bet. Or Veil of Summer. Is that the name of the card? Yeah, the uh, MTG bot doesn't have the new cards. Oh, it is Autumn's Veil. Okay. Or no? Nope, that's not it. Veil of Summer. Wait, they're both they're both weird. So Autumn's Veil, I guess, is the old green instant that does that. <laughs> Matisse is the best card ever. We haven't been able to have a ley line, start with a ley line in play and then play a mana creature yet. Haven't haven't done that yet. Which is disappointing. What do I even want a Tamio name? I, mean, I want to name like basic land, or just you know land. I am Tamio. It is an honor to me. Let me aid your research. Yeah, I want a cavalier. That's what I want. Wow. We have two Teferis in the deck. So yeah, I was like, well, just have to fairy bounce this 4-3 to slow him down. Hmm. Subject is easily agitated. Come on, draw land. Yay. I think you will find my notes helpful. So naming Nissa, because that was that would be like I don't even want Nissa, but that'd be the worst card for me to see on the other side of Command the Dread Horde. So that's why I named Nissa. Hey, KZ, thank you. Fuck 
Gosh, Daylight Ranger is so great. They're gonna grab their crisis back, I suppose. Nah, take it up. Seek and find. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I will aid you. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Probably just be attacking them. Honestly. No one asked for your input. All right, what you got, opponent? So that can kill Teferi. You can't kill a land. I guess they're trying to kill my Hinterland Harbor. That doesn't work. All right, Teferi down. To the library. All right, how much mana am I going to have next turn? Um, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can do untap one for eleven and twelve. So 12 minus 4 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I can steal 4 things next turn. Don't think there's really anything for me to tick up with Tamio to grab to steal more things. We'll just say Nissa again. Let me aid your research. Honestly, maybe I shouldn't even be ticking up, honestly. Those aren't really that great of cards to draw. The land shall conquer you. I want the Vraska.
Yeah, like I probably shouldn't have even... No tail should be discarded. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. I shouldn't have even ticked up that Tamiyo. So they got Wild Growth, Branch Walker, and Tamiyo. And then they can take the Teferi. And some mana creatures. I'm known for my excellent type. Yeah, that trophy's really, really nice. Okay, to just trophy the Nissa. That's really, really nice. Are you serious? They just named Cast Down? They kept the trophy on top and then named Cast Down? Did that happen? Is that real life? They kept trophy on top yet still didn't name trophy? And they just hit a different card? This might be a bad idea. Why wouldn't they just take the trophy and cast the trophy and kill my Nyssa? What are they doing? I will endure. All right, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's steal three things. Oh no! Come on, Arena, you can do it. Come on, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. Give me this, this, and this. I'm gonna keep this Tammy out. I don't know, maybe I should be getting a land here. Our future. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Everyone is expendable. Maybe I should just be minusing and grabbing a land. Like they, they're just they just keep on command the dread hoarding things for me to to take. It's like what else would you like to grab for me, opponent? All 
Alright, well, I can just kill him. We'll just kill him. Let's slow this down. I've got it. Seems fortune favors you. Rise, my elemental friend. Okay. So they're command the dread hoarding. Which kind of seems like we have a good... Like, mass manipulation seems to work out pretty well against Command the Dreadhorde, if that's, like, the, the plans. Um, the big thing that we really have to worry about, I suppose, is Masker Girl. Yeah, Masker Girl is, like, the thing that we really need to worry about. I don't feel like Teferi... Is that good? Bouncing their things doesn't seem that good. Besides Wild Growth Walker, that's like the one good thing to bounce is Wild Growth. We have Manipulation, though, also. I think I just want Frilled Mystics instead of Teferi's. Call of the day. Let's try to be super fast with these Leyline ley line of Abundance. See if we actually get to turn that on at some point. How's everybody else's 4th of July been today? Hope you've had a good one. Starting to get kind of tired from you know, our long 12-hour stream yesterday, and now I didn't get you know, I didn't get the most sleep last night because got to bed kind of late, and so starting to kind of run run out of energy a little bit. <laughs> ah, stuck at work. Well, hopefully I'm helping out a little bit there. Valerie, helping. There you go. Get a few more days off. A few days off after a couple more days. That's not bad. Hmm. It's not like the most perfect hand here, but we got turn one land or elf. They're mulliganing. We're going to give it a try. See what we draw. See if we draw some more ramp here. Oh, I'm, I'm glad the stream helps get through the 12-hour shift. I'm, I'm glad. Glad I can help you out. Cool card, cool card. I like it. I wish I would have kept Little Teferi, and Little Teferi deals with elemental birds pretty efficiently. Do not challenge a raging river. to victory this bird is falling apart they're just going to disc or like just pass and turn no land drops or nothing the best card to counter with a frilled mystic but oh well that's where we're at in our life 
So next turn. So I could Krasis for four here, but obviously it just kind of trades with the elemental bird. Let's wait a turn. Yep. Helps keep them off land drops. Counter in the branch waka. Uh oh. That probably means like a Tamio. Kick to the sky, my friend. Ah. So is it better to make six tutus with finale or just play a crisis? Probably just play a crisis. Figuring, you know, crisis gets to block, gets our life total up, and could help us dig towards mass manipulation. Tilt. I would like to ask about any user anomaly. Seek and find. So I'm going to be a mana short here from casting Finale for 10. Okay, well now... Now I'm two mana short. That Moo Yanling roughing me up. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Dang. Just a little short for finale for ten. So close. Maybe no Frill Mystic? Frill Mystic isn't a great thing to get Hostage taker later on in the game. You know, they Hostage Taker my Frill Mystic encounter something. That's really annoying. Nah, man, we're on the play. That's not going to happen again. We good. We good. Moo Yanling's not going to kill us again. I ain't scared. This temple, Sun Petal Grove. Alright, this looks good. Don't know the card that we're we're getting rid of. You know, it's one of the the three top end cards. I guess it's manipulation.
Jackson Tree to the library. Um. Alright, so we're going to be setting up our Frilled Mystics. Here, I think I'm just going to be minusing... Alright, never mind, we drew a land. We don't need a minus for Temple of Mystery. Let me aid your research. All right, we're looking good. So we need to counter their, their next two things. Hey, real Rankler, happy Independence Day. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I got the festive hat. Difficult to work. Got some little decals here. Fourth of July images on the screen here. And I follow the tracks of the wise. I don't have to little Teferi anymore in the deck. Otherwise, like ticking up and trying to find little Teferi to to bounce frilled mystic would be nice. I think you will find my notes helpful. Attack. Man, Phil, Phil Mystic's a great card. On the play, keeping all four in. Definitely the thing to do. This deck's going doing very, very well so far. All the manas. We're about to be 3-0. And three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen. Yeah. Like they have to double spell here. If they play one spell, they die. They had to have, they had to play two spells just to just to compete. But it really looks like they're going for Command the Dread Horde here, shocking in and how they're looking at the graveyards. So Command the Dread Horde, they're dead. Because, yeah, we get to... Behold, nature's true power. And there we go. All 
All right, 3-0. We still have not played a Ley Line of Abundance yet, though. Haven't done it yet. Three matches. Haven't had a single Ley Line of Abundance. I just want to do it. That's our Ley Line right there. I'm pretty sure that's the... Like that background art right there. I think that's the Ley Line of Abundance. I'm pretty sure it is. It's obviously it's a ley line, but I think it's the Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's ours. Yeah. Just never ley line. That was void? No, nah, wrong one. Alright, so they're going down to uh, five? Seemed like they mulligan twice there quickly. That would make sense. The abundance is in a forest, and that was like a a pasture kind of thing. Uh, I was void. All right, yeah, they're at five. Blossoming sands. Nah, we just want to go big here. Don't even need Teferi, even though Teferi's good. We're just going big. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Alright, give me that Teferi back. This would have been a good spot for Teferi bouncing the Arcanist. Will got very punished for not Hmm. Yeah, got really punished for not keeping the Teferi. Alright, come on, blue source. Blue mana. That'll do. It's not blue, but it will do. And uh, I can't play Ley Line and this. Trust me, you'll thank me later. No! I am not making this up as I go. And you know, Teferi of course also stops the the other part of Arcanist. Dang it. Ugh. We were so close there. We were so close. We are about to play a big finale the next turn. Alright, get rid of these Frail Mystics. Cavalier Thorns. Um, Lyra instead of Tamiyo. Alright, let's try this. 
Thanks, TJ. Happy Independence Day. Ley line. Gotta keep it just for the ley line. <clears throat> so we can cast Cavalier Thorns on turn three. Uh, I don't have white mana. Cavalier Thorns could grab white mana, but not necessarily. And, and if the Incubation Druid dies, then we'd be in a lot of trouble, so. Really? I'll just put you to the bottom. Don't kill Druid, don't kill Druid, don't kill Druid, don't kill Druid. Okay, Druid didn't die. All right, Lyra or Thorns? Lyra or Thorns? Probably Thorns first. Thorns means we get to play Lyra, even if they kill Druid. I need that manipulation. If Thorns dies, we get manipulation back. Um, you know, we can exile it, put the manipulation from our graveyard on top of our library. Cavalier Thorns, Lyra Dawnbringer doing their thing. Leyline did its thing. It was basically a Llanowar Elf. Yeah. It really just acted as a Llanowar Elf. You know, having it on turn one. But yeah, we did get to we got to play a lot earlier. Yeah, it's just I mean Land Warolf's an awesome card, so extra Land Warolf. Nothing wrong with that. Land Warolf that let us play Temple of Mystery. <laughs> and yeah, I know, I know. I didn't didn't get the Jess Guy deck for together together for today. I think I'm going to keep this. All we got to do is draw lands. We got everything else we want in our hand. Jeez. It's a bad start so far.
Wow. Very bad start. I, I don't know when I'm going to play Neo Form Elementals again. I don't know. I don't have my days planned out too much like that. So they just have the you know, Reckless Rage. At least the Vanguard doesn't kill us too fast. Come on, land. Well, it's another a temple where we don't get to scry. But I suppose we'll take it. We saw a lot of cards. Oh no. That just that gets the reckless rage back, kills the incubation druid, and I'm dead. Well, it was a, it was a risk. Pretty surprising, couldn't find any lands, to be honest, with that temple and everything. Um. Is it Phoenix splashing white for Kaikar? I think Kaikar is probably not as good as Murmuring Mystic is. You don't have to make your mana bad and you know take more damage from that and everything, which is a, a which would definitely be a problem in a Phoenix deck like that. The splashing is a real cost. And I don't think it'd be worth it over Murmuring Mystic. Okay, we got Leyline. Leyline, Lanwar Elf. So we could play Tamio next turn. Ah, no Tamio. Um, guess I should play White Lands. We could have turn two Tamio here. Turn two Tamio. Oh, that card's good. Um, hmm. Guess we'll have turn three Nissa still. Power surges through these lands. Be wary of the ground you walk on. I don't want anything to happen to the two white lands. Brianborn Cutthroat. Probably not how you pronounce that. So, two, four, six, eight. So, two, then two, four, six, eight. 10. Yeah. So this is turn 4. Finale for 10. Oh, no, no, no. These, these things only add 1. Ugh. Finale for 8. Alright, that's fine. Oh, was it 10? Oh, I could It was 10. Wait, what? I just messed that up. So, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Oh, because the, the lands add three. 
Right, the lands add three mana because of the ley line affects the lands also. Oh, I forgot I forgot the the ley lines adding three. Right, yeah. So yeah, I would have yeah, so that was turn four, could have finale for ten. Right, because the lands are the mana creatures. So yeah, the the lands add tap for three. That is pretty insane. <laughs> Yeah, we're learning together. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think Teferi wrecks our deck. That's what you're talking about. I mean, it's not, not any more than like regular, Bane Ramp or anything. I think Teferi's fine. So yeah, we had turn one Lanor Elf. Turn two did nothing. And then turn three, play Nissa. Turn four, finale of glory for ten. So, I mean, I I clicked eight, but could have been ten. It doesn't look like our opponent's doing anything too powerful with the Renborn Cutthroat. You know, like, kind of playing against a weak deck here. So I uh, went ahead and just kept this hand. Even though it's pretty slow. I am going to be ticking up on the Teferi. Likely. I guess they have to... They'd ha If they had like the Flash creature, they'd have to play the creature first. Because it is Teferi. Alright, I guess we'll play our opponent's game. Instant speed. Yeah, they they changed the how the decks look here, the graphics of the decks. So yeah, it looks like it's like way more than 60 cards now. I don't really like it too much. It looks like it's off. Yeah, it looks like an EDH deck. Mm. I would be playing Manipulation here if I had blue mana. If I had the fourth blue mana. We have three, of course. Um... It's just, you know, pretty obvious that they have counter magic. I don't really want Nissa or Finale of Glory countered. So I guess I just sit back and wait, I suppose. I like the manipulations, I don't mind those getting countered. I'd rather use those for counter spells. Oh, Night Pack Ambusher. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Wasn't really expecting that. Alright, well. No, I feel bad for not playing something last turn. Thanks, Temple. Alright, well, I guess we'll have the Nissa countered. Man, Little Teferi seems really important. Yeah, Nightpack, Nightpack Ambush are looking real strong. Have a counter spell, I lose. Oh, 
All right, so we got blue green flash. That's what we're playing against. Let's get these Veil of Summers absolutely in here. And I probably want my own counter spells to play there against their counter spells. I honestly don't know if we really need manipulation here. Kind of feeling no. I'm gonna take those out. That seems like something that'll just be stuck in our hand for like a long time, and you know, wait for them to set up their game plan of like flashing the creatures and then have counter magic up and everything. Well, it doesn't do anything before that. So we got the crises. Which are like our best draws, because even Krasis gets countered, it draws us a whole bunch of cards. That's true, Gideon could be online first. What, I, what I've kind of noticed here though, playing this deck, is the white mana... So we need a lot of... A lot of green, of course, for all of our mana creatures and stuff, a lot of blue for manipulation. I have noticed that we've been struggling for the white mana. Like that. Right, need to find a crisis. <laughs> That's the frilled mystic. Was I'm the captain now? Wait. It's gonna cost eight to activate. Alright, so should we cast this counter spell that's in our hand? No, I guess not. We'll let that resolve. Well, my opponent a little scared of counter spell on our end. Hey, Benison, happy fourth. I guess I'm still going to need... Still need to activate one of those. Or have one of those to be able to tap. All right. Leyline's ability. 
doing a bunch of work. Don't have to like play into their counter magic. We have the ley line in play. Just pay eight, put some counters on our stuff, and we're good to go. Just keep on doing that. GG's. All right, we're four and one. We got our final boss for the night. See if we can finish this league out with the 5 1, or if we lose and finish 4 2. Here we go. Ooh, this is a lot of mana. This could be a lot of mana. This is what Leyline's supposed to do. Um. There's, there's not really a variety of ways to get cards on Arena. You either spend your spend your gold drafting, or buy in packs. That's basically your only option. Only options. Um, there's there's not like a lot of like tricky ways to. To really build your collection up kind of thing um i do, yeah i do recommend like if you if you like drafting i do recommend using gold on drafting instead of buying packs um it has a lot higher upside and it also helps you improve at getting magic getting better at magic i think drafting is one of the best ways to get better at magic So I got nine mana right now. So I could create, I could Teferi bounce the planes and have Frilled Mystic up. Sorry, I'm late. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Okay, good. All right, so I think we got this. Maybe we can finale for 10 next turn. All right, because that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So just finale for 10. Not a bad turn four still. Let's see what they got. So I play the the Final Fantasy boss music whenever we are four. Whenever we have four wins in a league, whenever we're doing these leagues and we're trying to get to the fifth win. That was turn four, right? No, that was turn five. I took a turn off. Cause yeah, we had we had turn two play like one mana creature, turn three play two mana creatures, turn four we played Teferi plus um I missed a land drop. Yeah, we played Teferi plus uh the incubation druids, that was turn five. Man, Leyline Abundance. 
pretty sweet. I don't know if I want more Frilled Mystics over to Fairies for this matchup or not. Like, I, I don't know. I guess they're probably playing a bunch of manipulations also, so I guess we're supposed to be Veil of Summering. But Frilled Mystic is, like, just as good against manipulation, plus as good against other things. I'm going to play that over Tamiyo. Tamiyo seems pretty slow here. <laughs> Fresh pot of coffee with the sub. Thank you so much for that support there, Fresh Pot. I appreciate that. Uh, let's mulligan that. And let's mulligan this. Yeah, we played against... Yeah, we played against Mono Red. I believe. Yeah, we played against Mono Red here. And I, so I guess we won because our loss was to not mono red. Uh, they kept six. Looks like we're going to keep five. I mean, this is not a good hand. I'm putting a land back there. I'm going to keep the Ley Line. It's just whether I want to keep Krasis or Finale. And I think we keep Krasis. Uh, no, I don't think Omni Tears will be Tier 1. Next turn we'll have five mana, not enough to draw two off of Krasis. Probably should wait a turn for that. I guess we should just be playing Frill Mystic instead of Veil of Summer. I wouldn't have attacked with my creature. That was a complete waste. Just no reason to attack there. I mean, I, we got two points of damage in, but I thought my Veil of Summer was going to be able to protect it. Could not. Ugh. Would have been able to crisis for four here. I just didn't play that. Seriously? This Veil of Summer is horrendous. Come on, I already mulled the five. Alright, they played a blue spell. Yay, cycle.
All right, learned things like don't play Veil of Summer and therefore play more Frilled Mystics. Done. <clears throat> Game three. All right, got a lot of mana. Let's see if we can top deck well. Ooh, that's a good top deck. Good start. That's another good top deck. So shocking in here so that I can activate Incubation Druid if we don't need to play Frilled Mystic. Uh, sure, I'll let that happen. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight. Noink. Give me those. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. We have eleven. We're one short. One short of finale. We'll just have Frilled Mystic for this turn. And have finale for next turn. S stream schedule is um, 3 to 10 Eastern time every single day. So, you know, we're a little bit past 10 p.m. Eastern time right now. So this is the very end of the stream here. But, yeah, that's, that's the stream schedule. And you can always... If you miss any of the, the decks, they're all up on YouTube, including there's one up, you know, like all the decks from today besides this league, they're all up there. All right, so we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So finale for 11. All right, do they have time wipe? No time wipe. <laughs> that is disgusting. Just get 11 4-4 four, four flyers and 11 2-2s two on the ground. And got our 2100 gold. And there we go, Bant Ramp. All right, so I'd have to say the ley line actually felt pretty good. I liked the ley lines, honestly. Yeah, the ley lines were good. Finale of Glory was just awesome. In like those Bant Ramp mirrors. I could kind of see playing another Finale of Glory, honestly. Frilled Mystic was just great for us all the time. Um, you know, glad we have the other two Frilled Myst Mystics in the sideboard, but I wonder... Like, I could definitely see having the, these other Frilled Mystics in the main deck being better than, like, the Teferis in the main deck, for example, or something else. The Frilled Mystics just awesome. But, yeah, this, this list was good. Um, as far as cards I didn't like, I didn't like the Veil of Summer. I think we could just have, like, Negate instead of Veil of Summer. Like, we're playing blue. Like, just having Negate here is probably just going to be... Like, Negate's going to be a lot more versatile, right? Like, you know, you'll want it, you know, you can play Negates against, like, the the Nexus decks and stuff like that. Like, it's just going to be a lot more versatile, probably. Um, the Arcbow Rangers felt, felt like, felt a little unnecessary. I, 
I think actually what I would like here, instead of Arcbow Rangers, probably instead of the Arcbow Rangers and instead of the Vela Summers, or instead of the Gideons, the Gideons are really unnecessary. You, you don't need Gideons in this deck either. This, yeah, we don't have just tons and tons of white sources. We have eight white lands in the deck. Yeah, we don't need double white Gideon. Try to play that on, you know, early. That's just not going to happen. So I would recommend taking out the Gideons and the Vivians here and just playing for Batfling End. I think against, like, the aggro decks, um, I think that having Baffling Ends in the sideboard is, is honestly just really valuable against Mono Red um, and other... Um, you know, other aggro decks and stuff. I, I really do recommend just having baffling ends on the board. Yeah, that's what I'd have there. <laughs> Thanks back again. Glad you're loving the holiday spirit. Yeah. So that's that's honestly what I'd recommend with this deck. But yeah, I'd, I'd have to say that I was, I think I'm wrong about the ley line of abundance, how it was like really down on the card. It felt, felt pretty powerful with all these mana creatures. Um, yeah, it was it was basically more land or elves most of the time. Like most of the time, you only have one one mana creature, and so it just added another mana. So it was like having a free land or elf. Um, but then other times, whenever you start having like two, three, four mana creatures, like we saw there, it gets pretty crazy. And then yeah, having the Nissa lands add three mana, that's pretty insane. Also, so I think it's worth it. I think it's worth having them in the deck. But I think that'd be the main thing. And then it, like I said, like Veil of Summer. Probably should just be negate. Honestly, pro probably should just be negate over here. But if you really want Veil of Summer, I don't, I don't hate it. You know, if you really want that, because it's it's negate plus draw a card, um, in the right matchup. It is so. I just think the negate's probably more. Like this is more. Uh, you know, you, you can use this more. Basically, it's more more useful in a lot of different scenarios. But um, when the when the veil of summer hits, it it hits really good. All right. Uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, that's it here for Bant Ramp. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.